Oh, oh, boy, oh, TV. They, they scared, but I'm not. They don't like comentario. Y suscribe. All of LeBron's shows are garbage. Like, I was trying to root for it. That show was garbage. Him and, him and uh, JJ Reddick. And if that is, if that is the, how you say, the, rehe how you say the, the, the rehearsal, the tryout for JJ Reddick being a coach. Why is garbage? He, Why is garbage? Why because it's because it's boring. Like why is we've it boring? seen why is it boring? Because, because I've seen other iterations of it, like the what's it called thinking basketball dude and, and JJ JJ Reddick by himself is better than that. We don't need your oh, LeBron a, oh, James. LeBron. You, you, you oh, that's provided a oh, that's a LeBron thing. Okay. But, well, okay, hold on. So let's that's lean into the thing. let's let's lean into the LeBron thing. What is he bringing that's so extravagant? That's like, yo, man, he doesn't get challenged whatsoever. He says Dude. lies, complete lies about his team. And JJ Reddy goes, yeah, yeah, you need a teammate in Miami. Yeah, it's, what are you talking about? So hold on a second. That, this is why I want him on the Lakers. Because if you're not going to challenge LeBron, oh, I love this. I want to see this, his show, go all the way, burn all the way down. I love it. Because so, what you, if you're a coach, you're so, a coach, Flea, and you're supposed to coach the, the GOAT at 40 years old. And you're not challenging him. I, I that's a that's good coaching. I don't understand that. I don't I don't get it. it that's trash. That I would I, I see now. I'm always getting in this position where I'm a damn advocate for LeBron James. I, I don't need to advocate for this nigga. But you speak your mind. But that show is not for niggas entertainment. And that's where people get it lost. Y'all want to be entertained by every fucking podcast out here. Them niggas ain't up there to entertain. And that's where OG gets his point, which I feel him. I'm not mad at what he's saying, which I feel him. They up there perched on their throne like they know everything about the game of basketball. No, it's just that they're not there to entertain you niggas. They're, they're there to, it's more of a teaching thing. It's more of a mind the game. Learn. No, it's not. It's that's a lie. That's a lie. Fabian, it's there, it's Fabian, there, 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 Fabian, there, 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 there Fabian, to change Fabian, your mind the about what LeBron about, was. You not, half the shit they talk about, you're learning in real time. I don't. You are. I, and I, 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 I'm not talking about. But you the, can't the, be mad. I'm not. At something I'm not that you're talk, learning in real time. It's I'm my not talking point. about no. I'm not talking about no X's and O's. I'm talking about this straight up That's lying what I'm about, about LeBron. That's okay, what but I'm the, talking about. but we can you learn. You lean into the entertainment. I'm leaning into the nerdy shit. No, no, That's no, you're no, no. Once again, you're assuming I am. I ain't talking about the entertainment. You side. I'm just talking about. Said... Go ahead, brother. Yeah, I'm talking about JJ Reddick not challenging him whatsoever about facts. The same facts that you're speaking to. LeBron James had no facts about him about what he did with his teammates. They just put a put a clip up the other day. Kobe Bryant took the blame for when they lost the championship. LeBron James, yo, we needed other guys to win the championship. JJ Reddick had nothing to say about that. I don't want to watch that show after that. I, I just want to watch you coach the Lakers and burn them to the ground. I would love to see that. You know why? Because just like Draymond Green, Stephen A. Smith are the same people. They kick everybody's back in. They're all the same. All of them yeah. are disgusting. Yeah, you worried about you worried about the entertainment aspect of it. I'm gonna say it again. You worried. You could shake your head all you want. You worried no, about I'm, the entertainment I'm, no, I'm aspect talking of about, it. No, I'm when talking about. You can about, learn some shit if you just shut the hell up and just no. learn some shit. You can what learn that, some shit. What is it? You learn can about? actually learn some shit, but. Niggas think they're too good to listen to LeBron and JJ. So now we got to talk. No, I, a lot of you niggas, a lot of you niggas in the comments can learn some shit. But now listen, it's oh, get, that's get a, the fuck out of here. That's a that's a great punchline and all. But we're talking about the facts. We're talking about that. This is what I'm, I'm, I'm what Stephen A. Smith too. is accusing of of J, LeBron James is doing is exactly what Stephen A. Smith is doing to JJ Redick. It's exactly what Draymond Green does to his teammate when he punches him in the face. All that is nasty. It's unnecessary. So I'm, that's what I'm learning. I'm learning how you guys are nasty. I don't want to watch that. You're lying to me. What am I going to learn? Oh, my God. I alley you from No, I don't need to learn from you, LeBron. No. There's plenty of other no. videos out there I can learn it from. You no. don't do it right. You don't do it the right way. You're not, you're not great at that. You're not a great teacher, to be honest with you. Look, if you the, the credit you're trying to give LeBron is amazing to me. That's amazing to me. That's, he's not the best at doing this. He's nowhere near it for, the, for, for what you're trying to give me right now. Nah, LeBron yeah, ain't you that niggas, great at, at you niggas, the game. A lot of you niggas, let's are, knock it off. A lot of you niggas are emotional. A lot of you niggas are emotional. A lot of you niggas ain't never picked. Now I'm gonna get on my basketball back. Fuck it now. A lot of you niggas ain't never picked up a motherfucking basketball a day in your life. Never laid up left or right. Never tween tween. Never sat on the bench and drank water to get yourself right. And now you niggas are gonna come up here and tell people who are talking the game, talking to you about what it looks like, a back screen. A pick and roll, 
dive into the rim, a hot side of the court. Shit that is learning, not the weird shit that you niggas want to talk about all day and, and the goofy shit. No, I'm not I'm not rolling with that. I'm not rolling with that. Sorry, I'm not on that I, side with y'all. I'm, I'm not Sorry. I'm not rolling with someone who's attempting to do exactly what you just said and failing at it. That's my point. That's not no. JJ Reddy does your that mama on can his teach own. You something you either gotta want to learn or you don't. Nah, mom's who? gonna teach you. Mom's gonna he teach you something. He ain't my mom's or my pop. <laughs> bro, JJ ain't learn. nobody to me, bro. That's and I'm that's gonna, the problem. You understand just my because analogy. you no, understand no, no. my analogy. Just just because he's LeBron James does not mean he's gonna be great at this. That's the point. He's not a great at everything. It happens. All his shows suck. All of them. All of them. That's this hate, ain't bro. the only one. That's I can understand if this is the first time. That's hey, let's give him a try. Well, well, let, let, let me let me hold on. That's let me, let, 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 hold on. Let, let me break up the fight, right? All love here, y'all, just so y'all know we do this. For me, Fleet, it ain't even about it being entertaining or not. Like, even when you watch him try to act, I forgot the movie he was in. I'm just being honest, right. bro. He's just he's just bad at it. And I just think the podcast, right, I just think the podcast for me, even though it can be informal, it's just, it's just not good. I don't think it's good content. Um, and I just don't like the way him and JJ Reddit comes off. They comes off, they come off very snobby, very uh stick up there, you know what. And for me, I expected better, I expected more. Um, but I, my opinion, I troll a lot with LeBron James. I have nothing personal against him, but I don't think he's the smartest basketball player ever. I don't think J.J. Redick is the smartest basketball player ever. But people are trying to push that on people, not saying you, but, you know, the the, the networks. No, him. Flea is. And <laughs> how am I trying to push that on you? Flea, tell, me somebody somebody else, tell me somebody nah. else who's doing it. <laughs> he just did it for five Tell they me somebody are. else who's doing this. That what the high the high level of basketball? No, just folks. talking <laughs> basketball and not talking gossip. Who talking there's a, basketball? There's a there's Tell a me bunch of guys doing that. Zach Lowe does it. Ryan, you know my favorite Tell me is Ryan other Rusillo. players. See now you missing, but now you you talking to me, bro. JJ, listen, like I told you, JJ Redick for me on his own does it well. LeBron adds something doesn't add anything to that conversation. They just Going back and reflecting on what I don't get it. I don't think he, he does it that great. That's just my that's just my opinion. The mix, I thought they have the look. The production is amazing, but I don't like he's just like you said, oh boy, like his the way he speaks is too like too prepared. Like, what do you you could take a chance or two, bro? We we I want to hear what you really have to say, not the not the BS. This doesn't sound authentic to me. That's part yeah. of the problem. And JJ Reddy, be as, as snobby he is, that's a that's an authentic snobby. <laughs> that's an authentic snobby from JJ Reddy to me. I just I don't think it's it's great TV, it's great television, and it's supposed to be that. I'm down to watch Neil deGrasse Tyson and all these other guys on the on the cosmos and learn something or two. It doesn't matter to me, but stop telling me LeBron James is great at explaining the game of basketball like that. He's not he's not captivating enough. He doesn't do what Stephen A. Smith does on his level, on a smart level, whatever kind of level you want to talk about. You can hear me? You can yeah, hear me? I can hear you. Yep. Yeah, so, so you know, I mean, to each his own. Like I said, I don't want to have this talk no more until Fleet get back up here. But, yeah, for me, I'm just I'm just not impressed. And I think um, I think people probably was was wishing for more. And, you know, I'm just just not impressed. That's all. It ain't, ain't nothing personal. I'm not impressed with a lot of these podcasts. Um... And you know they 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 took a, a different angle, and like I said, you have to respect their basketball minds. I just feel it's just not the greatest basketball minds of all time, and it just seems like, you know, like with Stephen A. Smith, Stephen A. Smith said, everybody would want to do a podcast with LeBron James. No, they don't. What are you talking about? It's not true. I don't think everybody would want to. Um, I don't think. Oh, oh boy, I don't. I, I don't. I don't I don't think it's the mind, though. I just think that there's a way to speak when you speak and people want to hear you. That's a different kind of talent. I just, we don't, you don't have it like that. JJ by himself got it like that. He's proven he got a million on his own. He didn't, he's not a super duper star to get a million subscribers like that. He earned all that. He earned that back. And we go, I don't, I want to hear what JJ got to say. Me personally, and there's a million people 
same thing. But LeBron has not earned that from us. I think he's been he's been trying to force that on us. That's the difference for me. Just speaking on basketball. I ain't talking about anything else. Basketball. Who you want to who you want to hear talk about the game of basketball? Basketball I I play. Was, who you want to hear? I, I thought I wanted to hear Draymond, but he he divvies off. That's the problem. When Draymond sticks to basketball, it's amazing. But when he doesn't, Why? it's like what? Why is it amazing? What you learning? The same thing when we're just like with JJ cadence, Reddick. When he, you like the cadence of his voice? No. Nah. I'm, I'm trying to understand. <laughs> I'm trying to understand why he comes off because he comes off again. It's not easy being in front of a microphone, in front of a camera, and and, and keeping our attention. That's not an easy thing to do. And anybody just can't do that. As much as everybody wants to claim they can, because you picked up a basketball and hit a layup or two. No, that's not how it works. His, Draymond his, Green, Draymond Green is authentic, authentically crazy. And he's willing to say the things that other people are not He's willing to do and say the things that people are not willing to say and do, period, regardless of how we feel about him. That's why I thought his post career would have been so great and why he was compared to Barkley. Look at Barkley. Barkley isn't always right about what he's talking about. He's damn near wrong half the time when we still want to watch him. That's not an easy thing to do. Because the Met... You're not being... You're being disingenuous and you're doing that shit on purpose. You're doing that shit on purpose. Because you know exactly what I'm saying, but you're running from it to make your point. My point is this, and I'm a, I'm done talking about this shit because you pissing me off, Fabian. Good. You... you do not want to be honest and say that there is an entertainment aspect of certain podcasts on why niggas watch them. It just is what it is. You just said the other day, you like Carmelo Anthony and, and you hate Merrill, but you like Carmelo Anthony and you're going to sit there and watch. Why? Because Melo comes off authentic. Okay, Whether, and, maybe, so and maybe to your point, that's the entertainment side of it. Where I'm believe I'm, I'm, He's capturing me with that. Right, because you don't know these niggas, bro. Let me remind right. you, you don't know these niggas. You don't know these niggas. So if, we gonna, if they're going to talk and you lean into what they're saying, that's just because, damn, I like that dude. So I'm going to just, I like what he's saying. I like how he's saying it. What did OG just say? These niggas look pompous. They up there. They look like they talking down at the camera. It looks wild. I'm not arguing that. I think he's, I agree with that. I can understand why people don't like the show. But what I'm not going to say is that you can't learn something from it. It's not the typical type of podcast where niggas is doing this right here and people are being entertained. It's not. It's just not that. And if you if you can't decipher the two type of content, then you know I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know really what to tell niggas. No, because but then now you sound like them. Now I oh I don't get it. It's going over my head because I can't. I'm I'm not capable of no. being not entertaining, listening, watching it. No, I just don't like the way you present your information, LeBron. I just don't like it, and so do a lot of people, and they don't want to say it. JJ probably feels the same way. He just can't, he just can't tell you because he wants to, he wants that job on the sidelines with you, LeBron. I don't, but listen, we gotta keep it a buck. It has nothing to do with preference. Or, no, none of us really want to hear LeBron James. You talk. know, you know what who is he said, talking about? You know who says LeBron is 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 one of the smartest basketball players ever. Who? Niggas that play with them. Fuck us. Fuck the fans. Fuck who's in the comments right now. People who play. And he's played with damn near. You know he needs all the help he, he, he can get. He's playing okay. with every nigga in the league. Every nigga in the league. Hey. Okay. Hey, every no, nigga no, in the no, league. No, no, no. So hold, every hold, nigga hold, in the hold, league lying. Hold God. on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's be, let's be honest. I'm a, I will, please don't make me address you to the Frank stand. Don't do that. It's, it's, it's Mr. Listen. Hold Mr. on. 100. Hold on. I'm a different type of cat. No. Talk to me, OG. Most people that talk good about LeBron James is mostly guys that's his friends will look up to him, bro. <laughs> I'm hold on. You know, I you know, I like to, you know, I, I like to break the ice, man. We a little too tense. <laughs> but flee. Everybody doesn't praise him unless it's guys that look up to him or his friends. And Oh, I forgot the player that said it when he said the difference between Mike and LeBron, which is this is not a GOAT conversation, where mm -hmm. he was like, the guys LeBron played with and against, they all grew up together. They all his friends. Once again, will I ever say he's not smart? No. But I've I I I can't go with he's the greatest basketball mind of all time. I'm not saying you saying that fleet. Mm -hmm. No, but that's what that's what people try that's to portray. Yeah, I got it. Right. 
I got all, it. So, so you, you, you know me. I'm always gonna go against the grain. I know that. I'm always, I know that. Right, I'm always that. gonna say right. I'm always gonna find a way to say no. He not. You know what I mean? So for me, I'd rather hear people say he might be top ten greatest minds of all time. But some of these people go berserk. But see, here's the thing: for so many years, we never got nothing from him. We never got no inside track. We never got no what, what he thinks about this, what he thinks about that. We never got no access, right? And that was a big thing for all of us. This right. nigga don't want right. to sit down with nobody. He don't want to talk to nobody. He that's really true. pompous because he don't respect nobody. Who he going to who, who he going to respect? Who he going to talk to? Yeah, that's true. Now he get now he talking. Now he rocking, and now we still don't like him. Now we don't. Now it's okay. We get an inside track. Okay, we still don't rock with him. So I, you know, I don't know. I, I I'm an advocate for the show only because I feel like it's just a little different from what everybody else is doing. That's all. That's yeah. that's the only reason yeah. why. That's that's it. Well, listen, I don't know what happened with Fabian. He runs the show. He got him out of here. The producer ran. I ran him out of here. I'm bugging it. I ran him out of here. You know, Fleet no brown them off his own show. 